We are back at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill for the semi-final round of this Pro Series Singles Elimination Tournament. Right now you're looking at Sean Baker on lane three and Brian Kroll on lane four. The other two bowlers remaining in this round are Brian Purdy and Jim Ayotte. And as in the previous rounds, this is not head-to-head -head match play, but instead the um, the top two bowlers of the four remaining will move on to the final match. And Brian and Sean Baker both start off with Mark's uh, spares. Let's take a look at this spare by Sean Baker. Converts the 127. Brian and Sean both had pretty big scores in the uh, in the round of eight, as I'm sure you recall. And they would certainly have to be considered the favorites at this point, because they've both been pretty consistent and posting some pretty high scores all day. Brian Kroll with a five drop on the spare, and Sean with eight. Brian goes by the head pin and takes out everything but the head pin. And Sean just misses. And that's a 10 box for Brian Kroll. He's got 25 after two. And Sean Baker with 10 also. He's got 28 through two. Brian with a, a nice ball on the uh, left side of the head pin, but he leaves a 3, 4, 6, 10 split. And Sean Baker with an 8. He missed the head pin, but got some action. He's got the 2, 10 with about three pieces of wood kind of sandwiched around the two. And that doesn't look too bad. He's got a pretty good chance to, uh, to make a spare. Let's see what happens when he hits the wood. And it goes for him. That's a spare in the third for Sean Baker. Brian Kroll with another 10 box. And here you can see the slow motion of how that 210 goes. That pin just barely clips the, the uh, 10 pin. But it's a spare for Sean Baker. And he goes right ahead and throws the fill ball. He's got seven, giving him 45 through three. Brian Kroll has just been all over the head pin pretty much all day. He's got, I think that's a seven drop. Could be a bucket, but I don't see if, I can't tell if the eight pin is standing or not. I think it's just the 245. And sure enough, that's what it was. And he just came a little bit too thin. Didn't get the five. That's another 10 box for Brian Kroll. He's got 45 after five. And Sean Baker with 54 through, through four. Did I say four? Brian Kroll with a nine drop in the fifth box, leaving a five pin. And Sean Baker punches straight through the middle. Takes out the one, five, nine. Brian Kroll has been pretty much a machine on these single pins most of the day, and this is no exception. He sits down on a mark for 55 plus a ball after after uh, five. Sean Baker will be open in the fifth. He ends up with a seven. So Sean has 61 through five. That will bring up Brian Purdy on lane three and Jim Ayotte on lane four. Both of these guys have had uh, 
obviously some some outstanding bowling today. Um, but as you recall from the last match, Jim Ayotte needed a strike in the last box, and and also Brian Purdy needed one to uh, to get into the top half of that round of eight and move into uh, to the semifinals. And they're both going to be open in this box. Jim Ayotte will take an eight. And Brian has just nine pin with a piece of wood, and it's a ten box. And Jim Ayotte with a nice ball in the one-two pocket, but he's a little bit full, and he leaves a five, six, ten. That's going to be tough because he's got a couple of pieces of wood, but neither one of them is really looking that promising. He might be able to snap it off the wall. And that's kind of what he tried to do, but he couldn't get the five. And Brian Purdy, same thing that Sean Baker did when he had that four, eight, two pinner. Just got the eight. So once again, both guys will be open. Good ball by Jim Ayotte. Leaving, uh, he's got a six drop with the two, four, five, and seven. Brian with a seven drop. He's got the three, six, seven with a piece of wood that might. Oh, nice try by Jim Ayotte, but he just got a little bit too much of the, head, the uh, three pin. And Brian Purdy had a good chance to make that spare, but he went too far to the right and took out the. Uh, he, he hit the cap of the wood and he just went over and got the seven. We had 10 box for Jim Ayotte. He's got 27 through three. And Brian Purdy with a nine, he has 28 through three. So both Brian and Jim have fallen behind Sean and Brian Kroll by a couple of marks. And the way Sean and Brian Kroll have been bowling, it's it's not you, know, you really don't want to fall behind them because they, they Oh, and there is another excellent try by Jim Ayotte to convert that four drop and he just he really played it nicely uh, using the wood to get everything but the ten pin. It just wouldn't quite go off the wall. And it'll be a nine box. Thirty six through four. Brian Purdy with a nine, he has 37 through four. And Jim Ayotte punches out the half Worcester right side. Brian Purdy misses the head pin to the left, leaving a four horseman right, one, three, six, ten. And Jim with another, that's several in a row that he's come very close to making, but he just hasn't been able to get anything going in this half. He's been close, but no cigar. And so he's gonna be open again, and he'll have 46 through five. And Brian Purdy will also have 46 through five. So there's gonna be some, they're both uh, gonna have some work to do in the second half when they get back up again. But right now, you've got Sean Baker and Brian Kroll back up. Brian is working on the spare that he had in the fifth. He's got 55 with a ball, and he misses the head pin, but gets a nice break, and he's got a seven for 62 half. He's got the one, two, and seven. And Sean Baker with a nine drop, leaving the four pin. So a couple of good chances to uh, to mark for both of these guys. And Brian Kroll makes it. He's really been just phenomenal spare shooting this afternoon. Not throwing a lot of strikes, but he has just been lights out with the spare shooting. And well, so much for not throwing a lot of strikes. That was... Uh, just about as quick as, as you could want.
take a look at this. High, flush, one-two pocket, no question about it. Sean Baker punches through the middle again. Good ball, but he just uh, again punched out that one five nine. See what he can do with it this time. Oh, that's a nice bid. Boy, that that pin came flying out of the pit. Didn't uh, didn't do anything, but he made a nice try to get that spare. And Sean will take a nine for eighty. Three through seven. Brian Kroll firing in the eighth box. He drops eight. Good chance for another spare. Let's see what Sean Baker can do in the eighth. He drops the hammer right there. One three pocket. Not much question about this one either. Solid. So Sean Baker and Brian Kroll are really putting some heat on the uh, their opponents. Brian Purdy and Jim Ayotte. It looks, unless Brian and Jim can really have a huge second half, you're gonna see a, a replay of, of what you're seeing right here with Sean Baker and Brian Kroll in the uh, finals. And there is a double strike by Sean Baker. This one is not really as as solid as the uh, not a not the greatest hit, but he's on the one two pocket and gets a lot of sidewall action and, and eventually that five goes. So that's uh, it's a double strike. See what Brian Kroll can do. He's got some wood that might be a problem. And it, it is. He might have either had to go really high on that piece of wood or miss it all together and try the other one. And that's what he did there. So it'll be a 10. He's got Brian Kroll has 131 through 9. Tenth box. Wow. That's a splash, and that's about as fast a, a splash as I've ever seen. I, really, that's boom. That was quick. Let's see what uh, Sean Baker can do here with the uh, on the double. Just three. He's a little disappointed with that, but... Uh, Nonetheless, he has another ball. That's going to be a five on the second strike. So he has 121 through nine. 121, and he'll try to fill out this. Uh, he's got a seven. So that'll be a 128 string for Sean Baker. Meanwhile, Brian Kroll has 141 plus the strike fill. And he just adds three with the first ball. He'll have one more ball. But it's pretty likely that these two guys are going to meet again in a few minutes in the final. And that'll be a six fill on the strike for Brian Kroll, giving him a 147 game. That brings up Brian Purdy on lane three and Jim Ayotte on lane four. And they've both got 46 through five, so they really have their work cut out for them. And no, no good deed goes unpunished here as Jim Ayotte buries the ball in the 1-3 pocket but leaves a 4-8-10. Really, really difficult split. I'm sure he'll try to cut it over. He just gets the 8-pin. Brian Purdy with a 6 drop and a, a good bid on that 1-3-6-8, but nothing touched the 8-pin. Really a 9 for Jim Ayotte. And a 10 for Brian Purdy. Well, Jim misses the head pin this time, but gets a better leave than, uh, than he's had hitting the head pin for the most part. And, and 
Brian Purdy with a nice pocket hit, but he left a 6-7-8 split. And Jim just kind of bounced the ball on the foul line there and went by to the left. Nice bid there by Brian Purdy, but uh, again, the eight pin was unmoved. That will be a seven box for Jim Ayotte. He's got 62 through seven, and Brian Purdy with 65 through seven. There's a strike by Brian Purdy. Nice ball. And he's going to need more than that to catch. Well, Sean Baker would be the more vulnerable of the two guys that he's going to try to catch. But it's going to take. He's going to need more, more than that. He actually, he will need a double. Brian Purdy has to have a double. Yeah, that's not going to be a double. So it looks like uh, Brian and Jim are going to finish in a tie for third place in this, this uh, singles elimination tournament. Great bowling by both guys all day, I, I should say. Uh, I don't have the qualifying scores in front of me, but they both finished pretty high in the standings, and then they've gotten through the rounds of 32, 16, and 8. So that's uh, terrific bowling. Good start to the year on the Pro Series. It's very important to, uh, to be consistent in the Pro Series tournaments because at the end of the year, the top 24 compete in a playoffs event. And that's based on the top 24 bowlers in the Bowler of the Year point standings at the end of the year. So that, that event this year is going to take place at Lanes and Games in Cambridge on May 12th. In any case, Brian Kroll and Sean Baker are victorious in this round with uh, Brian Kroll throwing a 147 and Sean Baker a 128. So Brian and Sean will face off in the final match. Yeah, I'm going to 